Happy Monday, everyone. I have two words for you today that are totally imperative if you want to duplicate your business. And those two words are communication strategy. I'm Gail Bates, CEO of MyMentorBiz.com and creator of the Calendar Club team booking system. I help leaders grow million dollar teams. Good morning, Cheryl, how are you doing? Um, I help leaders grow million dollar teams to, so they, and we work on systems and strategies to help them grow and scale their business. So we have talking about a duplication formula in working with your team to keep it simple. And last week we in step number one, we talked about the pace, the pace of your team and setting the pace. And by that, it's about setting the pace with how many parties you are doing. It's about you leading by example. How many parties you are doing? How many recruits are you bringing on? How many recruiting conversations are you having? Um, so it's important that you're setting the pace for your team. So you might wanna go back and watch that video because as I said, we're going into this seven week series of working on the duplication formula for your team. Morning to you, Cheryl, hope you're doing well. And hi, Victoria, glad you're here. Okay, so we are now going to talk, today we're into number two and we're talking about a communication strategy. It is so important that you're touching your team and you're communicating with them often because they are expecting to hear from you. They are looking to you for your support and you don't wanna go crazy because uh, you are so busy trying to keep your personal business going. So you have to have a strategy in place for your team and it is all actually laid out for you in the calendar club uh, team booking system. We have a whole section on that. But today I want to share with you just three areas that you should be touching your team with to keeping it simple in duplicating. So the first one is to be communicating with them daily. You want your team to know that you're available to them and where would that access be? So daily, I think one of the best ways to communicate daily is in your team Facebook group. This makes it simple for you because you can actually schedule posts in there ahead of time so that your team knows you're there to support them. And in that group, I actually have another video on how to support your team in that in the, in the Facebook group. But the most important thing you want to be doing is adding value for them, adding value about your products, adding value how to get bookings, adding value on what to say in recruiting conversations, okay? It's really important for you to add value as a leader. You're always adding value, being professional, being positive in your team Facebook group. And that's a great strategy for you to communicate simply and easily. And so others will also know that that's the way to lead by example. Okay, the second way to have a communication strategy with your team is weekly, okay? So weekly is all about, I recommend uh, communicating with your team weekly through a weekly email. Now, um, I've been doing that for years myself with my team. Um, I know that most of my leaders do this and get great success with it. So weekly, in the Calendar Club team booking system, we actually have a Monday team booking news weekly email. Now, yes, they do see things in the Facebook group, but not everybody's on Facebook, or maybe they missed it on Facebook, and they're getting that specific email to them every week in the team booking news, which talks about bookings, because bookings are, you know, they're the um, core of your business. Everyone on your team should be booking uh, to be successful in this business. So in the team booking news, you're not only adding value uh, and sharing with them uh, booking news and, and we have a power, what we call the power list one through 31, um, but you're also doing lots of recognition and that recognition coming through an email makes a difference. So you're adding value, you're also doing lots of recognition. 
So that's weekly. So now you're communicating daily in the daily posts. You're sending that weekly update, that team booking news. Now what about monthly? That's the third area that I suggest. Because again, this is a duplicating a duplication formula that makes it simple for you so you don't go into overwhelm because of all of the other things that you think um, need to be done. We want to keep it simple. So monthly is all about what I call communicating live at a team meeting. Now, I suggest a live team meeting because those connections are being lost today with too many people online all the time. So if you do have a team that's not near you, yes, have a Zoom or, or a FaceTime uh, meeting, but don't stop by not having that, oh, that, that live team meeting in your area. It is so important. Being live with your team members changes things, okay? And it sets up that, uh, that that collaboration that um uh, just the the camaraderie with the team and so it's important for you to make sure that you are holding live team meetings now at your live team meetings of course you're adding value um you're doing a lot of recognition and that type of recognition at live team meetings truly makes a difference because it's present in the moment it's touching and hugging and um and hearing from somebody off the cuff about their success it's being that present in the moment area of truly that communicating and connecting with people that builds your team as part of the formula but you're also offering a training where they're learning and when they learn from you live they truly remember and they truly will implement so touching your team with a strategy to communicate with them, you want to keep it simple with this duplication formula. As long as you are doing it daily in your Facebook group, weekly through an email, and monthly at a live team meeting, you are going to see that you do have things in place, that you're going to see your team respond. They're going to expect to hear from you daily, weekly, and monthly in these three areas. And so you've now set up a very, very doable, duplicatable strategy because when you promote leaders, you want to make this appear as uh, simple and successful by having a formula to follow. So keep it simple, okay? You, they will know how to support their team when they are able to follow your lead. So I hope this has been, been helpful for you today, okay? I'd love you to sub, go over and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I'd love you to leave me a comment today on how you're communicating with your team, okay? What is, what is the, or if you have a question to ask about how, what, what ways would be better for you to communicate with your team, just leave me a, a little um, message there today. Uh, Dawn, Casey, glad you joined us today. Victoria, Cheryl, how are you communicating with your team? What works for you? You want to leave me a message or leave me a question? I'd love to answer it today if you have it. No? Okay. Well, um, I hope you have a great Monday. I do want you to make sure that you are following the duplication formula, setting the pace, uh, that communication strategy that I just shared with you today. And next week, we'll move on to step number three. Have a great Monday, everybody.